today we're going to go ahead and talk about when to shift gears. That was a question that was reoccurring in the comments. A lot of people were wondering when you should shift, um, what you know gears you should change to, stuff like that. And honestly, I didn't really cover it in the last video because I didn't think of it in that sense. I figured, you know, driving manual, a lot of people would, you know, understand that you're the one in control of, uh, you know, changing gears and you kind of pick when you want to change gears. That's part really why we drive manual because we want to be the ones making that decision. But um, I guess some people will need some clarification, need some pointers, stuff like that. So I figured this video would cover that. I'd give you guys a little bit of pointers um, in terms of, you know, when to shift and, you know, how to do it as smoothly as you can. So I'm driving around town right now. So, you know, I'm trying to be kind of quiet and at the same time fuel efficient. So I'm shifting between 2000 and 3000 RPM. That's usually kind of a sweet spot for my Mustang. It likes to shift between those two points. No problem. Um, it's pretty low in the rev range, so we're not revving the car out high. The engine is not doing too much work. Now that's because I'm in the car driving by myself. There's not a lot of weight in the in here, and the car is managing it pretty easily. Now, if we were to change things up, and I was carrying people in the car, I might have to shift at a different interval. And that is exactly what I want to talk about. So when you drive a manual, when circumstances change, so does your driving. So if you have more weight in the car, you're going to drive more differently. If you're going up a hill, you're going to drive differently. If you're driving down a hill, you're going to drive differently. So all these things factor into how you're driving. Um, also, let's say if you're racing, you're obviously going to shift a lot later than you would if you're normally driving. If you're spiritedly driving on the canyons, you're probably going to hold gears uh, a lot longer than you would when you're driving on the road and you're going to have the engine kind of uh, locked into second or, or third around the corner, stuff like that. So all these things factor into when and how you should change the gears on your car. Now, obviously there are some things that you should listen for and that's the cool part about manual is you really get connected to your car and you start to learn it very well. Um, like for me, I'm at the point where I don't even look at my dashboard anymore because I already know what where the RPMs are as I'm driving. Um, I just kind of play it by ear. So I know I'm about like 2,500 RPM right there. I'm shifting again one more time and I just keep it going. You know, it just, I get, get used to it. It's a repetitive thing. You do it so many times that when you jump in the car, you just start working away at the gears and changing gears and everything like that, that you don't really need to think about it anymore. But the most important part of learning manual and learning when to change and stuff like that is developing good habits, right? So good habits is like not stressing your engine. Like I'm going 50 miles an hour. I could be in second. I could be in third gear even, you know? But if you hear my engine right now, my engine is working really hard to go 50 miles an hour in third gear. That's not good for my engine. It's gonna cause a lot of wear that's not necessary. If I put it in fourth, now it's a little more relaxed. I can even go to fifth and now it's really relaxed and it's enjoying it a lot more, spending a lot less fuel and developing a lot less wear on the engine components. So that's really the idea behind gears, you know? If you're going down a steep hill like this, you don't wanna be on the brakes the whole time, you can downshift so that the car will slow itself down and add a little more weight to the front, just like it's doing right now. A turn is coming up, I wanna downshift again to get, add more weight on the front of the car and now I can turn very, very planted. So, I'm heading to Costco real quick. I wanna fill up some gas and I'll catch you and we'll talk about shifting a little more as soon as I finish up here. All right, all good to go. All right, we made it over to Costco. This is my daily struggle, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab some gas real quick. Meet you guys right here. So what's awesome is that the prices have finally come down a little bit. We're paying like four bucks. It's a little lower now. Go ahead and throw out some trash. Something I usually do when I get to the gas station. So, Mustang usually takes around 50 bucks. 
Let's see how close we get today. It's at 27 right now. And we have seven and a half gallons filled so far. But today we're paying 3.59 at uh, Costco. All right, well, 48, $2 savings. All right, all ready to go. Let's go on and get out of here. There's no better feeling than having a fresh tank. Oh man, it feels so good. Call coming up. Did you guys hear it? So we just got a fresh tank of gas in the Mustang. Feels really good to have a fresh tank, man. It's a nice feeling just looking there and seeing it full. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue talking about driving manual. Now, like I've already talked about, driving manual really depends on the driver. You are doing most of the decisions in terms of when to change and shift gears and all that good stuff. So in order to really get good and understand your car, you just have to spend time learning it. But in order to learn it, you have to get a few pointers just to begin. And that is, once you first start driving, once you learn your clutch engagement, go out, start driving your car, don't try to shift too late. Try to shift the gears early. We call it granny shifting, where you're shifting a lot earlier than you should be. And the reason you do this is just you want to get into the motion of changing gear and knowing when to change gears. Will kind of come naturally as you drive more and more. Keep an eye out for your RPMs. Keep an ear out for your the noise of your engine, the noise that the car is making. And that'll tell you a lot about when you should and should not shift. If you feel like your engine is working really hard, then go ahead and shift into the next gear. If your car starts to uh, shake or jitter a little bit that might be because you're in too low of the gear uh, or sorry too high of the gear you might have to drop it down to a lower gear so let's say I'm going 45 miles an hour if I was to put the car into sixth gear uh, the car might not like it too much now my Mustang has enough power that it, pretty much any gear I put it in really it, it'll keep going but in, in certain cars if you go into super low gear uh, the car will start to shake and that usually is an indication that the car is not liking that gear it might be too high of a gear for it uh, for that speed so you might have to drop it down so that's kind of like the general rule of thumb first gear will usually take you to you know 15 20 miles an hour second gear will take you a little bit higher than that to around 30 40 comfortably um, you know fourth uh, third gear will, will do 50 um, fourth gear is good for anything above that it, it can even go all the way up to uh, 70 80 miles an hour and fifth gear will do something around you know freeway cruising speeds very comfortably six gear is just really there for fuel economy most of it um, so you see at 65 miles an hour the car is under 2000 rpm so that's really how the gears are laid out but each car is different um, and has a different you know gearing length so you have to just drive your car and get to know it there is no video that's going to tell you exactly what to do and when to shift each and every car that is really dependent on the car you're in and what you're driving so i hope i gave you a little bit of pointers in this video um and if you have questions i'd be more than happy to answer them and try to help out all you guys that are trying to learn manual i commend you i give you a big applaud for even trying a lot of people nowadays just opt for the automatic just for the sake that it's a lot easier and and you know it's it's just what everyone is doing now you know what i'm saying there's a very few people that really are about the manual lifestyle and uh if you are then big props to you man it's a lot of fun and uh, it's a very very good skill to have so without uh, further ado that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video this was just a little quick one i wanted to answer a few questions in terms of when to shift gears and stuff like that um, and i'm just going to conclude it by saying the more seat time you have with the car the better you're going to go ahead and get at shifting gears and knowing when and when not to shift gears the goal when you're driving manual if you're, if you're not racing if you're not doing anything that requires you your car to perform um, you should be pretty much shifting a lot sooner um, you know than normal if you are going for a more spirited drive, something a little more aggressive, then you can shift later. The noise of your engine is gonna be there, your exhaust is gonna definitely be there, and uh, you'll know what you're doing at that point. So, 
thank you for watching this quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it answered some of your questions as to when to shift a uh, manual transmission. Uh, there's no rocket science here, just a little bit of uh, patience and you will be an awesome manual driver. If you guys like these videos, make sure you slap a like on it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone that has been subscribing. We hit 34,000 subscribers a couple days ago and uh, we're steadily growing. So thank you so much. My name is Rush and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.